This is going to be a demo for the rib command. You can see my rib I created even looks like the rib feature they have as a icon there. Um, this is what I would probably call a pipe, not a rib. So basically a rib can do exactly what the pad does, which adds material, but it also uh, can follow a contour. A pad can only go in a ruled direction. It can go perpendicular and it can go at an angle, but the projection on a pad will be straight. So it's going to be a ruled direction on a pad where a rib can follow some type of curvature. So I'll delete this rib out. I'll delete sketch two out. And I'll delete this plane. I already showed you how to create the sketch earlier. So this is that same sketch. You create whatever sketch you want. You just got to make sure you don't have too tight of bends. Otherwise, it won't like it. So with the sketch created, we can go to the plane icon. So you can find the plane icon in Essentials if nowhere else. Under plane, the sketch was already highlighted. So it knows to default to normal to curve. There's several different types. But the type that's going to work best, it's going to already just default. It just figures it out for you. So using normal to curve, the point defaults to the center. So this plane's right dead center of the curve. But I actually want to put that on the end point. So I, I move that plane to that end point of that arc. I'm going to select OK. And then I'm creating that plane so I can create a sketch on that plane. And I'm going to create a couple circles. I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to create a circle. Don't get it too big, otherwise it's going to struggle I'm trying to follow that. So I'll slide this down. And with Sketch 3 already highlighted, when I pick the pad command, I'm sorry, the shaft command, not the shaft command, the rib command. When I pick the rib command in the pop-up window for the profile, it has sketch 3, the circle I just created. It's already active. So the center curve is what I want to follow. And voila, there you have it. You've got a quick, simple pipe there. So I'm going to select OK. Now, when I open the rib, you'll see two sketches. One sketch was the spline I created, and one sketch is the uh, circle. So if I double-click this circle, I can add another circle on the inside. Whew, that's going to be tight. Let's highlight that and auto-constrain it. Exit out. And just like that, it added a tube. All right, so now I have a thickness here. Instead of it being a solid tube, I have some kind of a PC pipe or a, could be a hydraulic run. So that was one way to create a tube. I'm going to Eliminate this inside circle and I'll make this bigger and exit out. I'm going to try and make this big enough to create a kink, which is going to be crazy big, but let's try and uh, see if that doesn't kink this. So, what's happening is this is starting to get too small. This is getting too small. It's not going to be able to handle it. So eventually, I can double click the solid and double click that value, hopefully. No. I can. I just got to get the right angle. Oh, it came up. So let's try three. Looks like it's still going to be okay. So 
Let's try four. I'm trying to get it to crash. Ah, man. It is ever so close to not being able to handle it, but it's still getting in there pretty good, I guess. I will, I'll get it. Um, let's change that to 10. It will crash for sure. I'm positive. I don't know if it's a good idea to crash my system the way it's going, but eventually it can only be so big and it's going to zero out on itself. It's just doing something too weird. It can't handle it. Okay. So I'll change that 10. I try to double click on it and I'll go to back to something a little more reasonable like 2. All right. Did anybody think of another way I could have made that hollow so I could control the inside diameter without creating a second circle? We just learned that feature called shell. If I pick that face and type in quarter in, uh, 0.2, that tube is now 0.2 wall thickness. But notice on the other end, it's not poking through. What did I do wrong? When you're doing shell in the previous demos, I just had one surface. But if I double click shell off the tree, the purple is the face it's going to remove. So if I rotate this way and grab this face, it removes that face on both ends. I'll say OK. And now you got a tube on both ends. OK, see how it's hollow now? Now you have an actual tube. All right, I'm going to do one more demo on the rib command, but you guys can go ahead and try that out, and I'll set up for another demo.